Yanis Mate, our guest, he's the international coordinator of the Solar Chill Project. He works with Greenpeace. He works globally or around the world. Last country you were in? Last country I was in was in um, Thailand. Mm. Yeah. Uh, For the Montreal Protocol meeting. Okay, so yeah. but not. Uh, I shouldn't say not selling. For, not for You're the not solar exactly chill. selling <laughs> the solar cooler. No. But uh, take me to Swaziland. I don't okay, know if you've okay. been there, but I I watched a YouTube of what's going on in Swaziland last night. All right. So what, so look. So what ha what happened is that uh, um, we field tested this. So we developed the solar chill technology successfully. Field tested in Senegal, Indonesia, and Cuba over ten years, and then uh, this past year. We received a $2.7 million grant from the Global Environment Facility to run large-scale demonstration projects in Swaziland, in Kenya, and in Colombia. Mm. And so in Swaziland, which is one of the poorest countries in the world, there's actually a company called Paul Fridge, which is now producing the solar chill technology. And it's very rural. Uh, Swaziland, very uh, how many people? One million? Yeah, something like that. And, and it's, it's, a very, it's about 800,000 people. It's a very poor country. 30% of the population ha has HIV. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, they basically have not very little, you know. And, and the life expectancy is 36 years. 36 years. 36 yeah. years yeah. old. Yeah. Male and female. Yeah. And so many HIV infected. So this uh, refrigerator, no lead battery, not hurting the planet, powered by the sun or by rays, changes their lives. Yes. Well, one of these uh, vaccine coolers can service up to 30,000 children, you know. Mm. So, so imagine. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, and the food refrigerators can make a big difference in, if you can bring them into schools or hospitals or, or, or even for small commercial enterprises, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but this is not, not only in Swaziland, in all over Africa, all over Latin America, there are regions where uh, delivering vaccines and immunization mm -hmm. is a real challenge. And also to, to keep other medicines uh, safe. You know. When, when you talk to phys physicians or the physicians who work beyond the borders, uh, they, one of their frustrations is losing vaccines because of heat, because of, of no refrigeration. That's right. Millions of dollars worth of mm -hmm. vaccines go bad each year because of the insecure cold chain. You know? Sure. Or any kind of medicine yeah. or just tests. If, you're, if you need to test for HIV, I'm sure it's all heat sensitive. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking. Yes. And, and, and in terms of the food refrigerator, I, g I get requests from all over the world for both products, from, you know, from silk, silkworm farmers in India mm -hmm. to fishers in, in, in Africa, you know, uh, dairy farmers. They're all interested in this technology. It has a, a huge potential. And how big are these solar coolers? Well, the, how the large? The vaccine cooler is like a small freezer. Right. And, and, the, and the food refrigerator is, is like a medium-sized um, domestic refrigerator that we would have in our house. And yeah. being manufactured here, abroad, in Africa, in India? The, right now, there are three places where they're being manufactured. One is in, in uh, Swaziland, in, in Denmark, and in, in China. Mm. Which provides jobs, obviously. Yes. In, in some of the poorer places. I'm thinking of uh, an entrepreneurial aspect of this. If, if, if you're in the market, in a market, in a, in a poor country, and you can't keep your food cool. Well, the, the, the other potential is that uh, the food refrigerators would be very applicable for, for places in Canada. People mm -hmm. have recreational cottages off the grid where people use propane fridges or kerosene fridges. Well, now they could have a solar refrigerator that doesn't use a battery, and they, 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 could, uh, they no longer would have to buy propane t and bring, bring it up to the cabin and right. so on. Right, makes know. sense. Yeah. I, I expensive to make? Expensive to buy? Uh, it costs, uh, the vaccine cooler averages around uh, 17 to $1,800, including the solar panels. Mm -hmm. And over its lifetime, uh, it, it actually has a cost benefit of about three to four thousand dollars because you don't have to keep buying kerosene or, or propane to keep the the, the vaccine cooler right. going. Yeah. But I would think in North America, if a major manufacturer picked it up and they started to make a lot for the food refrigerator, yeah. yes. Well, uh, it, it would be a worthwhile project I mean, or, or, mm -hmm. or to have it distributed in Canada. Mm -hmm. yes. I know uh, it's like for them who live in uh, Swaziland or Kenya, it would be like manna from heaven. Yes. Especially yeah. with the droughts and 
yeah. and the young children and the and, and for the for the medical people. Well, it's a beautiful project, you know. It's it combines health, <laughs> environment, and development mm -hmm. issues all in one in a very practical solution. It shows that the 21st century solutions of solar technology can be applied to, to meet human needs. Yeah. And uh, it's a win-win it's a uh, um, project and, sure. and technology all, all, all around. And right up your alley, and I'm thinking uh, as, you, as it goes on, because many of these people cook over open fire, and so why not think of a way, maybe this has already happened, of solar ovens, sol solar... Yes. Everything. Yes, there's, uh, there's many different applications now with solar technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as far as fresh water goes, or finding clean water and fresh water, it's a major issue, as you know, around the world. Yes. Does this cooler use that in any way, or? No. You know what I mean? You have to go to the well to make it run. No. 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 Just the sun. It's just the sun. It's been, you set it up, and in, in, in about 48 hours, it, it cools down, and after that, it just keeps it, the vaccines or, or the food uh, safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's the next project? Have you got one or will this take up most of your time? Well, this project, uh, we, we would like to actually take it much bigger so that every kerosene vaccine cooler in the world mm -hmm. is replaced with the solar technology. And the regions in the world that, that cannot afford this technology are given the technology f uh, free. We want to do technology transfer projects all over the world, so hand the technology over to companies to start producing it in, in Africa, in Latin America, mm -hmm. in, in Southeast Asia. Uh, so th I think that's going to take quite a while. Yeah. I think so. We'll have to talk again. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Janos Mate, he is the International Coordinator of the Solar Chill Project.